have any wolves. Ah, now it changed. Varric's contacts say that a Chandri sister has been flashing coin around Lowtown, fishing for help with some unnamed problem. Details are light, but it may have something to do with the Kunari. He recommends checking for her in Lowtown. Let's do that. First, let's go back to our house so we can get our fourth party member again. Uh, or can we? Don't we have like an assembly point here? Hmm, apparently not. I was so sure. Or do we get it when we leave? How to call the dog? Uh, so? It wasn't like this in Lothar. Oh. I think he misses the open fields. Come on, let's play fetch the invisible ball. He just needs to get out more, don't you, boy? <laughs> Gamblin might miss it. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Gamlin misses anything besides alcohol. But if he's with us, who'd keep Gamlin's debt collectors away? <laughs> Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, Amabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with Doc? Real easy to remember. Ah, Gamlin, my ray of sunshine. How to call the dog? Hmm. I'm actually really bad with coming up with names, so usually when I like DM, um, I always take time to think about names and I always have like a uh, long lists of random names so I can give names to, um, to NPCs and stuff. I hate what he does, what Sebastian does in Inquisition, he's so much worse in the game and we don't even see him. Who would have thought? Um, yeah, I'm always just coming up with names I already used, like Garrett, like great, how creative. Um, let's go for the name of one of my actual dogs, or like, well, unfortunately she's no longer, but uh, Nelly. Which sounds like a way too cute name for such a big dog, but I think that's something Hawk would do. Yeah. I'll let you sleep. Uh oh, very cute. Ah. When we leave, we can reassemble. So, Fenris, Anders, and. Evelyn. So, didn't take her with me for quite some while. Way too many great characters. Why did you draw your weapons? Uh, I'll deal with this. Uh, was it just that one guy? Did you truly think you could best four of us? Okay. Dream big, I guess. Well, I don't think he will dream anymore. Well, uh, this way. Ah, uh, Dark Town. No. Lowtown. Lowtown at night, also known as Darktown. That also seemed very adventurous to just stand there, Sister Petrus. Oh, Ear miss. Have listened. Word is you're looking for help and paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. <laughs> that sounds... She has chosen poorly. Yes, yes, Venus. <laughs> I just got to show you something there in the dark alley. Oh, okay. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Well, new quest. Don't 
Don't like interruptions when this mark is so promising. Get that. Wow, that was well, also... Thank you for your timely intervention. Wait. I am out of my element. Surely you didn't realize that just now. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. Skill we I have. I charge who needs passage from the integrity. city. Integrity. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. Have we met? I just saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business. You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? Hmm. Varnell! Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Yeah, I mean, at least someone to protect her, but like two people against six. Uh, our friend, the Lady of the Night. Our friend of the night. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't reference my viewers as friends of the night. Hmm. Anyway. I mean, so far, that were fewer battles than before. You wonder how people survive in the city sometimes. Looking at how many people we already killed in the city, I think they just don't. <laughs> Maybe that's the whole mechanism of all the refugees from Ferelden. It just balances each other out. Nice to see you too. What's your problem? Y you just saw I thank me. You for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. If this is criminal, I already have enough trouble. I should think I didn't you're want about to, to say. have more. I am Sister Patrice. This is my burden of charity. Oh. A Cerebus here? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts. I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. Yeah, Kunari are also not really kind to their mages. They usually like cut out the tongue and stuff. But hey, let's ask a few things. You don't just stumble on something. Someone like this. Something, wow. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Talvashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. Mm. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. Perhaps an unpopular opinion, but I think the map design of this game is actually better than Bolo's Gift 3. Really? Of course, all the visuals in every other regard are way better than Bolo's Gift 3, since it's so much newer. But in Bolo's Gift 3, I think the mouth looks kind of strange. Like when characters talk, often there's a strange flash of light in their mouth. I think that's just due to the to the new patch. Anyway, Funari don't really like anyone. <laughs> You're pretty much just a number to them. Charming. I mean, I guess that's Dragon Age. No one is really nice. If you're so intent on this, why not use Chantry resources? My order will soon realize the Canari presence is more than a test of faith. It is an open challenge. But for now, mm. I must act on my own. 
Helping this maid shows how Kunari heresy cannot be ignored. His flight is vital. What the political games she's playing? But I wonder what happens to him or what. I mean, so far, Mage didn't say anything. I wonder what they will do. Oh, is he safe? Will he help? If I trust him at all? I don't know his capabilities or if he can function at all in that collar, but I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He's followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. Ah, oh, right. I just said like a few minutes ago that they cut out the tongues. That's why he doesn't talk. But I mean, why don't we just give him some paper or something to talk to him? And if you're wrong, I have to deal with it. That is why I went to Lowtown. You are either capable of the discretion and skill that I need, or you are not. Hmm. I do wonder what will happen if we appear through the Arishok. If that's really a good idea. Yeah. Freedom for mages. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. I had never thought about the plight of mages among the Canari, but it seems they are even more oppressed than we are. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own, but only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. They don't cut out their tongue, they... They don't? I was quite sure they do. They can't use certain magic. Then mages to the Kuhn are nothing but weapons to be controlled. Yeah, it's not going to be fun for him. Mm, also. Can we communicate with you? Katojan, is it? You need to be led out of the city. <laughs> the eyes of a slave. Does he want freedom or a master? It has been difficult to get information. But look at him. Would you want this? We must have that in common. Yep. Welcome back to Ila. Okay. Let's try to free him. Ooh, is that a new map? No, it's just... That's the usual one. Test, test control on its way. Why are there everywhere so big spiders? Imagine the world where spiders the size of you are not uncommon. That's right. You heard me. I mean, always a fun question. If you could live in a video game world, which world would you choose? But there are like some worlds which are really nice, but there are also some worlds where you're like, I don't know, I love Witcher, but living in the Witcher world... Also, an important part like which role do you have? Like, for example, would he be like a mage here? Would he be a Templar? I'd live there in Thaddeus. I would be a mage in Thaddeus, but an apostate, of course. Sounds fun, but also stressful. 
And how would you pronounce it? So if I didn't hear it in the game, would you say like Thetis or Thetis? Or something else entirely. I'd probably be an NPC who runs a shop, though. <laughs> I mean, doesn't sound too bad. Sounds, yeah, quite cozy. Evelyn. Mm, some... Stamina, some strength. Status. Could also be... A guardian. Attack speed, movement speed, ooh, that sounds nice. Retaliation also sounds fun. Damage transfer, 25% from the target to Avalon. Let's go for that. The ultimate protector. The mage seems indifferent to our struggles, even with his freedom as the prize. You're completely unfazed. But I mean, he's not tranquil, of course he knows magic. Think. Probably Boulder's Gate, Mass Effect, or Fallout. Oh, really? I think Fallout wouldn't be too much fun. But yeah, Forgotten Realms might be really nice. Ah, look at this. Under cities feared by all, but there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dumb lord's bitch. I think our body count is increasing. Mama. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who will pay the most for your pet. Uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. Lol, I definitely wouldn't go for Witcher. <laughs> A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You not think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. Well, excuse me. Bound, like this thing. I'll see you dead first. Nice. Thank you. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! And by the way, that's one buff mage. Why can't I use my spells? Temporarily disabled. Why can't I use my spells? Ah. That's why. They get the idea, Kunari, Ketogen, whatever. Calm yourself. Everything burns. Okay. Did you react because your lead was threatened? I know that kind of blind instinct. It is hard to judge how much control he has. Hi, Marachan. Nice to see you again. I would go for either Faerun or the Mass Effect universe. I don't know too much about Mass Effect, but I definitely want to play them sometime. And yeah, Fey I think Faerun would be my favorite. And hoping that I have like some kind of magical abilities so I can survive and do funny stuff. I would just love to be a bard. My favorite scenario would be me and Anders living in the forest in our nice cabin. Ah, that's so cheesy. I love it. <laughs> Would love to communicate with him. You can't gesture or, or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. The sister has assumed a great deal paper. from a few grunts and twitches. <laughs> I probably can't really move too much, right? But I mean, he can move his arms, and he can see at least a little bit through the mask. You did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? <laughs> He may not know himself. I kind of feel really bad for him. Keep control and remember who is on your side. <laughs> of course. 
I expected no different. Okay, let's get him out of here. Uh, did anyone of you drop something? Ah, poor bastards. Why can't you have something with you? Some coins. And now we find stuff like rusty metal spoons. The high life of an adventurer. Ooh. Let's have a look at the belts. Might be interesting. Belt of the Chastened. Ooh, more magic and stamina regeneration rate. That, let's give that one to Fenris. That one also sounds fun. Willpower and resistance. Here we go. So it's kind of weird to give the Megan Vales locket to not Sebastian. We made it! No, not. Not yet. Ah, no. We're supposed to meet them. I think. You will hold Basra Vashidan. I am Arvarad. And I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members like of this Karatom were killed by Talvashoth, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. Hmm. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. Great. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Freedom seems to be quite the Sarabas, theme. Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kuhn. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. I just really want to know what Sarabas even means. The sister called him Katojan. You are Sarabas? Sarabas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. Great. And you are Avarad? My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the Kune. Mm, or Bas who have not yet been enlightened. I don't think I would like the answer, but let's still ask why they do that. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Like so many others. We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. Yeah, though it's not that different from what humans of the Chantry do to mages, right? Anders is that fearsome. Are mages like Anders so dangerous? He's given no reason to fear him yet. You waste your breath. He'll never tolerate my kind. You mm. are Sarah Bas? Bas Sarah Bas? Vashidan! Neira Sitar Karasam! Ah. You spewed your words at me like a demon trying to poison my control. Like this mage, the cube requires your death. But we're no threat to each other. Boss Cerebos, you will be no threat to anyone. <laughs> ah, great. Okay, I think that was a stupid thing to say, apparently. I should have thought about that. But I love that they are standing all so close together. I mean, oh no, people dying. What dark magic is that? Now let's see Anders. Okay. 
hoping there won't be more spawning around us. Oh, poor guy. Can you stand? <laughs> but I mean, about what Fenris said, the thing is, like, what will he do when he's free? Hey, nice. We just destroyed I it. Um, unbound. Odd. Wrong. Mm. But you deserve honor. Wrong. You are now Basvarad, worthy of following. I thank your intent, even if it was wrong. I know the will of our Varad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kuhn. Oh boy. What a life. And instead of freedom, choosing death. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> well, that's gratitude. I fought so you could go die anyway. I commit to the most difficult choice. The truth of the Kune. What if it's wrong? Many say that before they know certainty. Uh, I wish there was some way to convince him to not throw his life away. But it kind of seems like... Uh... Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my Keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. How I return is my choice. Yeah, I've deeply indoctrinated. Spineless, mind controlled, senseless piece of shit arguments I've ever heard. What comfort right, has freedom this. brought you, mage? You would have more if you submitted to the Kuhn. I mean, can we ask him a little bit more about the Kuhn? I mean, at least without previous Dragon Age knowledge, I don't think you know too much at this point. Arvarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing yeah. to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kuhn. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not oh, a boy. choice. It is the only choice. As it tal ebb, it is to be. Ah, oh, that hurts to hear that, like, being confined and imprisoned and not free was, like, better than being free. I mean, maybe we can get him to join the, the renegade ones? Oh, thank you, I'm loving the mug. <laughs> Others of your kind live outside the Kuhn. You could join them. They are not my kind. Mm, I am Kinari. So. They are not. They have chosen to be free. Free? They have refused what they are. I can't choose to not be. I mean, quite the strong belief, right? Patrice might take you back, if death is the only other option. The sister was not honest. What do you mean? I cannot say what she wanted, but it was certainty, not of the Kune. And her guard smelled mm. of death. I don't think we have a choice, but let's try to at least stop him from killing himself. I can't let this decision stand. If you force choice, it is not choice. Your doubt does not make me wrong. Certainty is comfort. That is the way of the Kunari. The way of the Kuhn. Take this secret thing, Basvarad. Remember this day. Oh no. Wow. Oh, 
also that choice as a death. Yikes. Burning yourself but alive. The creature was free. She yeah. may not have known about this, but clearly Patrice set a trail right to us. If this was her doing, I have a few questions for her. Yikes. I kind of expected some approval change from Fenris and, well, at least Fenris. Oh boy. If you want a popular theory of the Kunari, the short story behind the theory is that Magisters took elves, made them slaves, and did experiments on them with dragon blood. The experiments resulted in the Kunari. Yikes. That really sounds awful. Like, is it a theory in-game, or is it like an out-game theory of people? Let's finish this quest first. And let's hope we are not ambushed again. You never know, it's low town. Part of the experience. <laughs> this huge tank man. Charming. Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Uh, well, my helpful associate from the streets. Was it a trap? You took the Canari from the city? Without incident? You know what we mm. faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Wow. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Disagreeable for me that you lured me into a trap and wanted me to get killed? A little. Your Ketogen killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. Wow. Dragon Age, everyone is racist. Oh, gosh. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug? You are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, what are not the heck? for your benefit. Please understand that I had to sacrifice you. Excuse me. Gosh. Yeah, I don't like her at all. I mean, she definitely thinks she's doing the right thing, I don't doubt that, but still. No, I can't get Origins to work. I tried everything, every tip I found, every patch, and it's just not working. I think the computer might be too, too new or something. First word problems. Are we going to, to confront her? Ah, come on. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. Whoa. Excuse me. Oh, hearing from that one again. Oh yes, we will. Oh boy. Loving the house design. 
All right.